Welcome or welcome back to the Lockwork Chronicles. My name is Larissa and today's reading vlog is Daydream by Hannah Grace. a walk with one of my friends but they're not here yet and I just read chapter one as you saw on my couch and I am highlighting with my Erin Condren fine and medium marker thing they're pastel they haven't bled through yet and they're just light enough this first chapter is wild it opens with Hallie getting broken up with there's already been some Taylor Swift references and it makes me very happy such as her apron and he has just said some wild things. I'm like, girly pop, how were you friends with this person, first of all? And second of all, why are you dating him? Why were you dating him in the first place? He sucks. Some of the comments that he said to her, I'm like, fuck, excuse me? You are not a nice human right now. How, how were you friends since childhood? That makes no sense to me. Also, I just love that there's a playlist. I love a playlist in a book. I love that there's Taylor Swift on this playlist. Hallie Girly is about to take life into her own hands. Hannah also wrote a letter at the beginning of the book kind of explaining why she doesn't give Henry a diagnosis because people had been asking her to. I'm happy that she didn't. It's neurodivergent coded, but it's not diagnosis forward, which I think is a very smart thing among authors when they do that because it allows people to relate to them and not put even more like people in boxes. I just got so excited reading her letter and it just made me tear up. Why? I don't know. It wasn't like sad or anything, but it just makes me very happy to finally have Henry's book and just get to experience this book because I really loved both Icebreaker and Wildfire. I know people didn't really like Wildfire as much, but I loved it. Even this little section that Hannah writes in here, she says, I put a bit of myself in every character I create. Anastasia's anxiety, Nate's self-sacrifice, Aurora's need to be wanted, Hallie's loneliness, and the internal scars Russ has because of his father's gambling addiction. I've spent a lot of time worrying about people understanding Henry for the parts of him, the parts of me, that shut down or need to be alone. I'm, I'm just really happy and I've heard really amazing things about this book and I'm already loving it so much. I can't wait and Henry is chapter two. He starts us off. <laughs> I'm so excited. I love Henry. He's just such a cutie pie and it also goes on with the growth of herself because she wrote this or like when she first started writing Icebreaker she didn't have her diagnosis and now she does and she's written this and uh Henry has grown as a character and she has also grown as a person so I love that correlation. Hooray! Hello friends. Let's I think this might be too hot. I made a decaf lavender vanilla chai because it is seven o'clock at night, but I just like want to be cozy. Oh, it's way too hot right now. Mm, is that good? Oh, I'm so happy with that. All right, well, before we check into the book here and get reading for the night, let me turn down my ambiance. Number one, New Heights podcast is back on for season three and I'm so excited. I had such a great time listening to them this morning on my commute, it was wonderful. I love Adam Sandler and that's who they interviewed. She's so brave, she's unafraid. I taught step today, which was great. We had uh, three people come, which has been better because this whole summer it's been like one or no people have showed up. Summer gets busy and my time for my step class is not a prime time. I understand why it's low, especially in the summer. My boss from the gym, she's like, hey, we might have to cut that class because it's not doing well. I'm like, yeah, you're right. <laughs> you are not wrong here. We'll see how that goes. Uh, she's giving it till the end of September. So we'll see if I end up going to teach elsewhere or if she gives me a different time slot. I did laundry. It has been washed, dried, and put away, which I always do anyway, but like, I just feel like I was more on top of it and I got done with it sooner. And then, no big deal, I went grocery shopping tonight. So that was... <laughs> something because normally I go on Thursdays after I get back from work. However, 
I'm not going to work tomorrow because I have a dentist appointment and it's Labor Day weekend. I have Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday off of work. I'm not going anywhere. Um, I will be hanging out with friends this weekend, but that's about it. But we're gonna be reading this weekend too and just doing our usual pickleball, weightlifting, all that good stuff. Yeah, it's supposed to be a gorgeous weekend, but I only had to go to Aldi today because I just need to restock my produce. And now we get to read. As far as the book goes, we're in the point where Hallie and Henry first meet and it's at the bookstore Enchanted. And I love that it's called Enchanted. I love all the Taylor Swift references and they're subtle. Like if you were a Swifty, you would know. If you were not a Swifty, you'd just be like, this girl's a little quirky. I love that Hallie is a Swifty. I love that Hannah is a Swifty. I, mean, I have been annotating this because I knew I would love it right off the bat and I'm so happy that I did. Uh, I wanted butterflies and the unexplainable need to pop my foot up delicately when we kissed, but I got wasps. My gut told me something was wrong, but my heart told me I just needed to give it time. My head told me I already had all the answers, but I was just too much of a chicken to listen to them. Henry is worried. He enrolled in a class where the teaching style is not compatible with his learning ability or learning style. And so he is struggling and he's trying to get out of the class. And there's a plane flying quite low. Henry is worried because he's also the new appointed captain and he didn't really want to be because he likes to sit back and enjoy but unfortunately he was kind of pressured into doing it and now he's panicking that he's not going to be a good leader so he's looking up books about leadership and that's what brought him to the bookstore with Aurora who we knew from Wildfire. Also wanted to ask you do you guys think Pride and Prejudice is a romance book? I think it is a romance book for its time and it is a great romance. It's one of my favorite movies. Mr. Darcy in the hand. The hand oh gets me every time. But if I had to read it for a book club I would want to read something else alongside of it with spice. <laughs> But Hallie is now in charge of the romance book club at Enchanted, just because she is trying to fill her time. She's trying to make connections with people on her campus and uh, kind of prove to herself, not necessarily her ex, but prove to herself that she is capable of making her own friends. Is focused on writing a book right now because that's what she wants to do is write a book before she turns 25 and get it published. So I'm gonna drink this tea. I'm going to read this book and we're gonna have a nice cozy night. Like I said, it's seven o'clock now and I get to sleep in tomorrow. We could technically stay up a little later. Will we? I don't know. I've been going to bed late every night this week and I hate it. I love my nine o'clock bedtime. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> I never talk about you, Chris. Henry shrugs in a nonchalant way he does. It's only important that she remembers my name. <laughs> I love Henry. Hallie's teaching him the Pomodoro technique. Woo! If you don't know what that is, look it up, especially if you're a student. Favorite study method. <laughs> she might start crying. I might start crying. <laughs> oh my gosh, he got her flowers and he remembered what kind of flowers were on her dress, so he got her those flowers. Because he thought they might be her favorite. <laughs> what are you bad at? I'm not telling you that. Mainly because I can't think of anything. I was just trying to be humble. <laughs> I love when Henry gets a little territorial. I also love... This angle is horrible. I don't love that. I think about everything far too much and it's like I'm sinking beneath my own worries. Nobody else is affected, nobody else is thinking. Also, there's a Happy Place reference, Happy Place by Emily Henry, and it makes me really, really happy. I'm obsessed. Good morning, I am having an iced chai with caffeine this time. But I did want to talk to you about this. It's the CeraVe Ultra Light Moisturizing Gel. So. If you watched a few vlogs ago, I was very upset because my Tula daily moisturizer was out of stock everywhere and I was very mad and it's very expensive. And I have tried other whatever moisturize, morning moisturizers in the past and they've always like been really sticky or like didn't work well with my skin. I don't really have that complicated skin. I have sensitive skin, but nothing complicated, a little bit drier. Anyway, I really like gel moisturizers and that's what the Tula one was. I gave this one a try this morning because I finally ran out of my Tula one and I like it. 
So we'll see how my skin reacts to it, if that ends up liking it or not. It definitely absorbed really well, didn't leave any sticky residue. Weightless feel on skin, that was correct advertising. And I would rather have CeraVe or Cetaphil or those kind of brands, the drugstore brands, because they're not expensive. And the rest of like this brand works very well with my skin. Just wanna let you know, cause I told you I would keep you updated about it. And first use, I liked it. This book, it just has me giggly. Here, we'll, we'll go chat on the couch. Hopefully that's focused enough. Ugh, I hate these blinds. I, I just wanna go against my landlords and buy the shutters to be more coastal grandma. Like coastal grandma aesthetic is my aesthetic. It makes me so happy. <laughs> and I just really want those like white shutters. What was I saying? This book just makes me so giddy and so happy. And this has been one of my most anticipated books of the year. I love their banter. I love their friendship. Suave Henry is. <laughs> he is so cute and he doesn't even realize it. And I just love him so much. And I love Hallie. We're headed to the dentist. After the dentist, I'm gonna go visit my mom. I don't think my dad's home. But I'm gonna go visit my mom and see little Levi and spend a couple hours with them, get lunch with them. Then I might be going to Stillwater right after to meet up with a friend, but they haven't gotten back to me, so I feel like they're, it's gonna be a no, <laughs> question mark. So possibly going to Stillwater, and then from Stillwater, going to volleyball. However, it's supposed to lightning storm again. So volleyball might be canceled because it's outdoors. There's a chance that my busy day is gonna turn into like doing absolutely nothing this afternoon or evening afternoon-ish, which I'm, I wouldn't be mad about, honestly. Cancel plans are great plans <laughs> as well, and I just really wanna read. Oh no, why do I do this? I'm on 12% battery. Just left the dentist office, no cavities. So this is your sign to wear your retainers. My retainers are still good to go. I wear them three times per week, so do that or daily. And then, yeah, I had no cavities. I do floss every day, yay me, and brush twice a day. Take it from me. <laughs> your mouth is a start of every other process in your body, especially with digestion and food, and take it from somebody who has IBS and just a lot of stomach issues. <laughs> It makes a difference. I'm gonna go grab lunch now. Pick up lunch at the dairy. Get some ice cream there, obviously. Volleyball got canceled tonight because <laughs> there is this storm rolling in as we speak. I thankfully went and got gas. <laughs> it got so dark in such a short period of time. We get to hang out and read all night and listen to the storm. I'm gonna practice some piano. We're gonna read. I kind of have a headache, but I think it's because I was laying on the swing and my neck was all like, <sniffs> and Levi would not let me use the other pillow. <laughs> dreaming about you always you what Gigi did I always wanted to do but like would never will can suck my big toe he's so gross Ugh. Henry <laughs> I love this friend group so much and I'm just so happy to be reading about them again and to be in their world I love the girl friendships I love the boy friendships I love the group dynamic friendships. I want to be their friend. If everything falls apart because I rock the boat, who's going to notice if I fall overboard? Who's there if I sink? Good morning! We are at the gym, gonna work out. I keep forgetting to print off my workout sheet. We are doing a push day. And then we're gonna go play pickleball. I was gonna go to the lake, however, it's gonna be a little bit cooler today. 
which is exciting. Uh, so I'll probably just like hang out in the hammock for a bit. I do have to meal prep today. I'm hoping to get so much reading done. I'm on chapter 27, page 281. I just, I'm still loving, I'm still having a silly, goofy good time. I haven't even finished this and it's lived up to and even I would say dare I say, surpassed my expectations. I was very nervous going to Henry. We've all been anticipating Henry's book because Henry is the king. I'm obsessed with him. I'm obsessed with the way he thinks and the things that he says, even when he says things that can come off as rude. It's never meant to. And I just, I love him. I love Hallie. I relate to Hallie so much in the sense of her people pleasing. It can be debilitating and overwhelming and the fact that she's trying to do things for her, but her way of doing that is just taking on more things for other people. That's me to a T, which I feel like I do a lot now for myself, but I didn't used to, and I would just put too much on my plate. But I just love these friendships. I just love this little found family that they've created with the hockey team and the people around them. There's a helicopter or something, a plane. That's loud, let's go work out. Let's hope that it's not busy with children. Hello, just got home from pickleball and it was so fun. Also, my workout was good. I kept getting distracted though. So it lasted a little bit longer than it should have, but pickleball was so much fun. Everybody's just so kind, so wonderful. And it makes me really happy because every time I show up, they compliment me on my outfit. They make me feel like I'm a good player, which I'm decent. I just got a lot of compliments today and for words of affirmation, <laughs> it was great. <laughs> it was so fulfilling. I can't wait to play tomorrow. And it was, it's gorgeous out. It is perfection outside right now. Just eating a leftover, my leftover sandwich from the dairy yesterday. Some clementines and these s'mores things. They're still going. I made so many and I made a whole pan and like people ate them at book club, but I mean, there's only so many people and there were a lot of little treats. All in all, it's been a really great start to the day. Now we're just gonna get things done. Sorry if it's super blurry. I can't see to see if it's a focus. Two, sorry if you can hear the loud bugs. And then three, I think we have around 100 pages left. Someone's sick and the other person needs to take care of them. I love that. And I just, I just love their progression. I really hope Hallie learns to stand up to her family because the things that she does she's acting like a parent. The responsibilities that she has is very parent-like. Everybody else just defers to her. Her parents defer to her. She has to plan all this stuff. She's just like, everybody just needs to step up. And she should not be allowing this to happen, which I know it's hard and difficult, especially when it's your family, but the box that's labeled for her under his sink. If you know Henry, he always keeps a box under his bathroom sink for girls. And now it's just Hallie's box. Yes, Halle Bear. That was snaps for Henry. Snaps for Henry. I got hungry, so I made dinner. I just ate a salad. Now I have grapes and my s'mores bars. I only have like a few, a couple of them left. I think we all need to take notes from Henry here as to when we feel like we need to decompress process, take time, that we communicate that. Now, I think more men need to communicate that. <laughs> We're almost done. We're on page 382. I don't want this to end. It's still five stars for me, FYI. I am so obsessed with the Spice Girls. Seriously, these girls. <laughs> it's so freaking precious. Oh, Girlfriends are so important. <laughs> He's blonde. <laughs> <laughs> it is suspicious that grown men can be blonde. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. And even though I knew it, it's still so exciting. <laughs> We're putting hearts around everything that was just said here. Oh my gosh. That right there. That was so cute. Halle Bear, I'm so proud of you for your choice. <laughs> it's art. <laughs> Good spot for that, Henry. There's a secret playlist at the back. Hallie's version. 
It's all Taylor Swift. This is the best. We have finished Daydream and in honor of Hallie being a pathological people pleaser, we also are repping the pathological people pleaser sweatshirt in honor of her and Taylor Swift because we're both Swifties. I absolutely love this book. Five stars for me. It did everything that I needed it to do. Henry was a complete king the whole time. I really loved Hallie. Hallie was a great FMC. She had that people-pleasing tendency, struggles to make time for herself, and you see her process that, and I really love her growth through that, and being able to expand beyond her relationship, especially after dating Will, who was a complete jerk, but her relationship with Henry and how Henry valued her needs and also just saying like, it's okay that you have friends. Like, obviously he wants to support her for that. I loved their dynamic. I loved that she understood what he needed in certain situations, especially when he became overwhelmed and she was able to help him be okay with stepping away. And when Henry did need to step away, he also communicated like, hey, I'm still not doing good, but I'm thinking of you. Just having that communication with one another is really important and her allowing him to be okay with being able to step away and her having the girl group, her Spice Girls was such, oh, I just love it. I love the found family. I love the friendships in this. They are just so understanding and loving and they're so funny. They're so funny. It really makes me want to go back to college. <laughs> Will I? No. Time travel back to college and put myself out there in that way because I, I was also overworked in college and didn't get to really... I had fun, but I wish I would have not worked as much or like... I, I just wish I would have like done more experiences is what I'm saying. If you are in college, go out and have fun. Be safe, obviously, and make those connections and friendships, but you don't... You're gonna spend your life working. You don't need to be working three or four jobs. <laughs> It's okay to say no. <laughs> I just loved everything about this. I had so much fun and also I love her hair because her hair is the same length as mine and maybe that gives me hope that I can be a cutie like her. She's so adorable. I also love the necklace. It definitely was worth the wait for it. I, it Hannah, you let it cook long enough. You did fantastic and I'm so happy that this is what we got for Henry's story. And I'm so happy we got Henry's story. And I love the Maple Hill series. <laughs> it is fantastic. I'm curious as to who is going to get the next book. I love JJ. JJ obviously has graduated now and in professional league, but I still love JJ. I wouldn't be mad if we got a book of his. Because <laughs> there, there was a few people mentioned, but I'm curious to see as to who will be the next in this. I also love the little flashbacks to our two other couples in the previous books and how they played into it. That's gonna do it for us. Thank you so much for hanging out with me in this reading vlog. Feel free to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any other reading vlogs and like this video. And with that being said, respect others, respect yourself, and do something amazing with your day. Thanks, bye!